Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Lots to talk about with uh, Tropical Storm Dorian really starting to see uh, more organization with this storm as we're starting to really see a big flare-up of convection right near the center of this storm in just the past, say, hour to hour and a half. Uh, right there, you can see right at the end of the loop. Uh, and you can see this is moving to the northwest right now at about 13 miles an hour. It's going to pass to the east of Puerto Rico. So a lot of things have really changed here over the past 24 to 48 hours. Remember a couple of days ago we were talking about this potentially going over Hispaniola. Obviously all that is out the window and this is working its way to the east of Puerto Rico. It's going to move into an environment where conditions are very favorable. Now it still has some dry air but it's been dealing with this dry air and as it works its way up into the Atlantic conditions are going to just become more favorable. There is more moisture up in to the Atlantic and also we still have low wind shear. We've got warm water so we really we have a lot of things in place. You can also see uh, this upper level low which is sitting to the northwest of this system. That is what is tending to draw this storm more towards the northwest for the time being. But then the ridge will start to build back into the north of this and those are really the steering mechanisms that are going to be changing this path over the next several days. So here's the 11 a.m. advisory, 17.5 degrees north, 64.5. Top winds right now, they've increased to 70 miles an hour. Notice the pressure. That continues to fall. So we're seeing a strengthening storm. Now, watch this track as we go through the next couple of days. And we notice the high sitting to the north of it. So that's going to tend to bend this back towards the west. And that continues to really be the big question mark with this as we go through the next several days. So that tail end of the forecast still low confidence in that because when we look at the the various computer models we're still seeing a big spread in some of these computer models especially when we look at some of the the more reliable computer models where you expect at some point to start seeing more consistency we're just not seeing that at this point we should see it in the short range but then once we get into the long range we're starting to really see big differences in these computer models when I say that I'm talking about the European and the GFS namely so is this track going to verify not what you're seeing right here things will certainly be changing what we're talking about right now is the potential we're going to have a major hurricane sitting to the east of the state and could be heading in our direction so you got to have those hurricane plans in place you got to go over all your supplies and really you have to pay attention over the next several days so you look at all the various computer models you see that that tight clustering in the beginning but notice how as time goes on you're seeing more of a spread you're seeing some going over florida you're seeing some going up towards georgia and south carolina as well so that's where we're seeing more and more of that spread in these computer models here's the european in the gfs the european is the white the red is the GFS. So you can see as we get into Saturday, we still have pretty good agreement on the forecast track. But notice as we go through the weekend, you're starting to see things are kind of falling apart as far as that consensus, that agreement in between the two computer models. Because by Monday, what we're looking at is the European much further to the south. You've got the GFS further towards the north. And watch as time goes on. You're seeing the GFS basically holds it out over water, maybe turning it a bit more towards the north where the European moves right over the state. So that's where we have these big differences between the computer models. And then you eventually see that turn more towards a north and northeasterly direction with the European. But what's steering this is the high, the high pressure ridge sitting to the north of Dorian. And it will be really the key of how strong that is as we go through the weekend that really determines exactly where this ends up going. If it's weaker, it would allow Dorian to turn sooner to the north. And then if it's stronger, it's going to keep it more on that westerly track. So that's what we have to really monitor as we go through the next several days. Of course, we're going to keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.